Hey everyone, Mike here. What you're about to watch is a clip from the DevOps Lounge stream. If you'd like to join us, then head on over to chat.learndevops.com.au. See you there. This is the first question that I saw recently. So it's zero to DevOps, is it possible? So this gentleman's essentially I think just from the question alone, he's saying that he has zero, he has zero experience and then he wants to know if he can move into a DevOps based role. This is pretty common. So that you get people who look at the industry and they want to enter the industry, but they don't have any computer science experience or they don't have any engine, uh, cloud experience or anything like that, but they want to move into the, they want to move into the industry, which makes perfect sense. Can it be done? Yeah, absolutely. It can be done. I have an apprentice in France at the moment who I have taken from almost no computer skills up to extremely close now to passing their associate architect exam for AWS. They've got Terraform experience now. They've built out a enterprise grade, highly available WordPress solution in Terraform using Terraform and Ansible as well. They're using Git, they're using a co -control, um, version control and they're building that out inside of AWS, including a CloudFront distribution as well. And that's a pretty complex concept. So can you go from zero to DevOps? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Let me know what you think in the comments below as to whether or not you believe that you can go from zero to DevOps. I think anyone can, personally myself. My, my personal opinion is you can, but I'd, what I would say as a caveat is you've got to be essentially interested in it. It's, it shouldn't be seen as an avenue to make money or a lot of money or just basically be, you know, how do I, how do I increase my paycheck? Oh, well, this DevOps looks, I mean, look at the job listings, the, the wage is, the wage is crazy. I don't think that that's the right approach to take because you'll always essentially live a life of sort of resentment really, because you're not really doing the thing that you're enjoying. You're just chasing money. So I think that that's definitely the wrong reason to go into it. And I think that if you do approach the industry in that in that way, and then you do get into the industry with the intention of just sort of drawing the largest paycheck that you can find, that's going to come through in your work as well. And it's going to come through in your attitude and your communication with your colleagues as you, as you move between organizations. So I don't think that that's going to be healthy for you. And I don't think it's going to be healthy for other people in the industry as well. So... I do think it can be done, but just needs to be done for the right reasons. Now, how would you go about doing it? So there's the DevOps roadmap as well. I can bring that up here. So it's the DevOps roadmap. So we've got this roadmap.sh DevOps, and then we've got this, we've got this roadmap here that you can follow. Now, this is pretty complicated. I'm currently working on my own roadmap, which, which sort of takes away a lot of these choices because I actually think that there's too many choices here, as odd as that sounds. But this is a good starting point, sort of learning a programmer language, learning how an operating system works, learning about managing servers, networking, automation, infrastructure as code, and so on and so forth. So where do you start? I would, I would say personally, look at understanding how an operating system works and how a computer just generally works. Then I would say, look at how networking works. And then I would say, learn a, learn pro, learn a programmer language such as Python and learn to create software that controls that computer and communicates over that network. That's a good starting point. You can find lots of resources on YouTube for completely free of charge. I would start free of charge. In fact, I would start with YouTube. I would look at guides online simply because if you start spending money on this stuff and then you find you don't like it, you've lost some money. Whereas if you just use something free on YouTube and then you're three months into your studies and you're kind of like, I don't, I just don't get this or I don't think I'm going to enjoy this or I'm frustrated by this, then it's not really cost you anything except time. And that is a val that, is, that is actually a really good use of your time is learning how to develop yourself and actually seeing if this is something that you want to do. So that would be a good investment of time, but not necessarily a good investment of money. So is it possible? It absolutely is. Yeah. Let's see what the comments are saying here. So with a maths background, I'd suggest taking a wider lens. You might find software engineering suits you well, or you might find data science and machine learning interesting. Be careful with job titles, especially DevOps today, as it's essentially been co-opted to mean sysadmin, which this subreddit tends to confirm. That's very true. You're sort of saying, I want to go from zero to DevOps, but what does that, what does DevOps actually look like really? I obviously very clearly have my understanding of what DevOps is, but what the industry thinks and the market thinks DevOps is can, can be different. So you've got to be very careful there. 
And I do like that this this user has actually said, you've obviously got a maths based background and that the original poster does have a maths based background. And so he's suggesting things like data science and machine learning. And that's true. They may, they may actually be better options for the original poster. Very nice.